after school special and it is all about plants, plant power. So one of the activities in this guide is making a bookmark using plants. So what you wanna do is just go outside, first of all. I walked around the library and tried to find some um, flowers or leaves that are somewhat flat. So I picked out like this really cool fern and then I found these I don't, I don't really know what they're called, but they're very pretty and they're red and they're pretty flat, so I think that will work good. And then I found these white and purpley ones, and then I found some really tiny ones that I thought might be cute too, either with a paper towel or some tissue paper. I have some tissue paper here. Is you're gonna wanna wrap them in there, so just carefully kind of, I guess, place them on there. Cover them with another sheet of tissue paper. And then you need to put something very heavy on top of them. Lucky for me, I'm at the library and I have a gigantic book that's very heavy and I'm gonna place them, place it on top of them, just like so. And I'm just gonna let it sit there for like a day or something. Okay, now it is time for part two. The flowers were sitting under the book for a few days actually. So now it's time for the big reveal here. And let me hold this up just a little. You can see that they are indeed flat, very flat. So now they will be able to work for the bookmark. The next step, you're going to need a pair of scissors and this clear adhesive paper, which um, you know you could get at like a craft store or something like that. And on the back, it has some grid lines, so that should make it easy for us to cut out a basic bookmark shape. So I'm just gonna cut along the lines here. So then you have to find the corner so you can just like, yeah, peel that off. And I'm gonna save this little scrap here because I'm gonna wanna cut out another piece exactly the same size and put them together. So for the first one, I'm gonna do the flowers and you can just, have a little fun kind of placing them. So now you want to take your scrap, um, that you know, the back that you peeled off, and cut out another piece exactly the same shape, same size. You could either trace around it, or I'm just gonna fold it down on this other piece while I cut it. Tracing around it would probably be a better idea, though. Okay. Peel this one off. And then here's the tricky part, carefully placing it on here. You might could use an extra pair of hands. A little bit of help might be good for this part. Tracing it would probably be better. <laughs> it was a little bit too big on one side, but that's okay. You can just trim a few of the edges and trim it up a little bit. It's 
And if you have any bubbles, just kind of go over it and press it down. And then, as you can see, we have a cute little bookmark. Let's do one more, this one. Well, and here we go. I finally finished. I think it looks pretty cool. Here's the other one. So if you want to make your own super easy bookmarks with some flowers or some leaves, make sure that you go ahead and pick up a copy of our after school special. All the directions are on here. This is super easy thing you can do. And there's even more activities inside. You can also download it from our website too. So that's all for now. See you guys next time.